Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan here, back with another video. Welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I'm back with another one. This one is Mi 12 by Team Phenom. This is ported build for Redmi Note 8 only. Don't install this on any other device. This is ported by me. You can see this is Mi 12 version X More Z OS 20.6.4 beta. This one is actually based on Android version 10 and you get the security patch of 1st of June 2020. This one is ported by me. The steps I will show you in this video also like how to install this build and a lot more. So which are the things working, which are the things you get here and everything in this video. So let's get started right now. Okay, so this is how it looks as always all the Mi 12 base rooms look like same. One of the best thing which I personally liked about this build is the performance. This is one of the smoothest build ever. You can notice there are no lags at all. Yes, app opening and app closing sometimes lags but overall it's super duper smooth as you can see in this video. No, no extra lags at all. First of all, the control center, everything is fine here and I am not using from here. I'm simply swiping down from here and as you can see, the smoothness is super duper great. This is, this was the main thing in focusing in Redmi Note 8 because we get a lot of lags here, but in this build, it's almost solved. You can use this build as your daily driver also. Your Wi-Fi, data, everything is perfectly fine. I'm using this build from last 24 hours and I didn't got any bad things yet till now. Moving on to the camera, this one is the default camera which you get here. Obviously it's working but if we talk about the portrait mode and video mode, these things are still a bug so don't try these things. Instead of that you can use Gcam. If you don't know which Gcam is best, I have already made a video for that. You can check out in the description. The link is in the description. Moving on to some other things, you get some all apps from Mi 12 like Cleaner, Security and Themes also. In theme store you get a lot of themes available and if I talk about one of the best theme let me just show you which is one of the best theme I personally use from my device and this one is I have already posted on my community tab also. This is how it looks this is the iOS theme and it works perfectly for this room actually it is just perfect the wallpaper the icons and everything is just great. As you can see all the icons from here and control center is themed too and looking just perfect. Moving on to settings, check out some features which you get here in settings. This is how your settings will theme like. I have already made a detailed video on this theme. If you have not watched it, you can check out right now. When you go to sign into iPhone, you get all the information here like I am using Mi 12 as we already know about cellular, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and connection and sharing. Everything is same here. You get the Mi share option as expected here, portable hotspot. And these things are perfectly working. If you don't know how portable hotspot will work, you can check out my video in the Telegram channel. The link for my Telegram channel is already in the description. So make sure to check that. Moving on to some other things. This is face ID and passcode actually like in iOS sleep option and power menu and all other things are perfectly fine here as you can see. In display and brightness, dark mode, system font, control center and all other things are perfectly fine. Use control center. You can switch your control center side as expected. You can simply swipe down from here to get your control center down, which looks pretty much impressive and all other things are same. Actually, it's based on MIUI EU, so it means no extra features available. Unfortunately, in home screen, you get the home screen option. You also get some other things like global search, global search provider and double tap to lock screen, home screen layout and some other things. This one is a very cool feature global icon animation you can choose this option to get the 3d animations here also if you want to themes i've already shown you if you talk about the password and security i'm using password fingerprint face lock everything is just fine as you can see it's perfectly working without having any issues general date and time language and input and everything is fine here one of the good thing if you want to do this is go to developer options and choose here your animations to 0.5x like this. Choose your windows animation scale, transition animation scale and animator duration scale all choose to 0.5x to increase your performance. It will increase your animation speed and your device will work as smooth as you want. 
and moving on to there you got the screen time option available as you can see screen time and battery backup is super duper great i'm using from some time as i already told you and battery backup i didn't got any much problems till now ma cloud which means ma account icloud everything is just perfectly fine these were all the things which you get here Talk about some other things you can use magisk manager if you want to just you have to see that you cannot use 20.4 because if you use magisk 20.4 your safety net status will not pass as you can see cts profile will be false basic integrity it could be also false these are the things you get here so these are all the short and simple things the latest review one of the main highlight is this is based on the latest version as you can see it's 20.6.4 and best thing is you can use this as a daily driver and also no lags at all. So this was all from this short and simple video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.